Uh, very good. Thank you, Elena. And fire crews are getting a better look at the Antelope Fire this morning to see if that weather improvement helped out overnight. Yeah, that's right. 23 ABC's Leslie Marine joins us live this morning in Tehachapi from the command post with the latest on this fight. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Mike and Lindsay. If you take a look, the Antelope Fire actually happening a mile south of where we're standing now in between that mountain range there. It's a little hazy, but we're not seeing much smoke here this morning. At this point, we do know crews able to get this fire contained to about 35%, but this fire is actually burning on private land. Right now, we have one of the owners of this land, Philip Wyman. Your family actually owns this entire area over here, and you guys are no strangers to a fire, but are you worried here this morning? I'm worried because we are having some strange weather coming out of a, of a hurricane and uh, it is extremely dry here. We had with a 14,000 acre fire, a huge fire for just four years ago, the West Ranch fire uh, took about 2,500 acres of, uh, of our finest Southern Sierra uh, pine and fir. and. The fire when it first kicked out was huge and it was going straight up perhaps 200 feet and if it had gone at all toward the west it would have gone into areas that is is very very dry and would burn so the fact that they stopped it uh, and the fact that there were the, the helicopters and the drops and 110 and perhaps other men and women coming. You know, we went up there as a family, just thanked them. And in fact, I'm coming on behalf of the apple growers here and the Pulfords with some apples for this crew as they're coming out and the new crew that's going in. And they're telling us it could be two or three days to know that this is secured. Plus, we could have more more strikes that would open it in an area where it is still very dry. And this is really a staple to the community at this point. You guys open this land up for a lot of community events, a lot of community churches, you were telling me. Actually, we've had a campground and a hunting club for 50 years, and the campground just was filled with Central Valley Christian Church people that were here over Labor Day. So we are very glad this did not occur then. Uh, but we've kept it well graded, we've worked hard, and uh, it's, it's part of this Valley's heritage and our Wyman family heritage. And Philip said, like he said, he brought tons of apples for the firemen here this morning to just say thank you for their efforts. They're going to continue their efforts today. About 110 guys out here to fight this fire. We will keep you updated on all the latest information. For now, back to you guys.